In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use uh, jQuery with uh, React. So there was a lot of plugins. So jQuery, first of all, jQuery is uh, one of the most widely used front-end uh, language right now, till now. So there was a lot of plugins in jQuery than have plugins in uh, React. Right? So in some point of time, we might use uh, jQuery plugins that was actually the plugins that was not available in React.js. So I'm going to show you a simple demo on how to use uh, React, uh, jQuery inside React. So, so there was a npm package for jQuery which I have already installed. I'm going to import the npm package first into our React application. I have imported the jQuery function. So basically, I'm going to show a demo like uh, there was a test button here. When I click on this button, jQuery will trigger a alert message. So that is how I'm going to show the demo for jQuery. So um, there was a lifecycle method third which was provided by react there was component it mode. so from that uh, when we access component that was rendered to the DOM uh, we will be calling it from uh, component it mode so I'm going to make utilize uh, of this uh, lifecycle method of react This function will be invoked whenever uh, this component is rendered into the log. So here I'm going to write the jQuery that we need to achieve. So I'm just going to uh, attach a click event listener, jQuery event listener for the button uh, which was in this component render method. So this is a normal jQuery way which we use to attach or click events for any element in our DOM. I am using the same here. So now I am going to trigger an alert message inside this uh, function. So here I didn't use any jQuery on uh, React on click even to trigger this function. So this is a lifecycle method, uh, and I'm going. I'm using jQuery inside this. So here is the demo. So it should already be refreshed. So when I click uh, the message which was triggered by jQuery. So now uh, we have attached successfully attached uh, jQuery event listener to our React component. So again, we can manipulate state uh, within this uh, jQuery. If you want to change something uh, in state variable, you can do it uh, inside this uh, jQuery function. So I'm going to do a uh, demo on how to set a state variable. In inside jQuery. So, for example, I'm going to have a state variable let's say store, which was null at the beginning. So, I'm just displaying that here. This is like a binding in AngularJS. So now whenever the store changes, uh, it should be automatically reflected in the view that means in history. So now here is the way I'm going to change set the state variable.
actually no, this is uh, this method is not working so we need to bind this to this function that is how it should work there was a method to set state value that is uh, this to set state and then we should only use this inside our functions to update the state variable of the car compound so i'm just going to use math.random so no whenever button is clicked the random value will be updated with the store state variable so in turn it will update the view so this is the thing. so initially it will be null okay. i need to push this close inside a function it should be this should be binded for uh, for this a function to take it further so this is triggering that now this random variable the random number is set to the state so it is automatically updating them so by this way you can uh, use all of jquery functionality within a uh, componented mode so, thanks for watching guys Please subscribe to the channel to get more video updates.